because uh, you know right now my focus is on Duke and uh, trying to win a national championship. And uh, you know I owe it to these guys. And uh, like I told them, this is my last run too, just like Mason and Seth and Ryan. So um, you know I'll, I'll have time to get into all that and once I get up to Chicago, and I'm excited about it. But uh, right now I'm concentrating on Michigan State. Just a general thought, though, Coach, about accepting that job. Oh, I'm excited. You know, it's it's a great fit for me. It's a great fit for my family. Um, it's an area. It's where I grew up. Chicago's my home. Uh, it's a great school, not only uh, athletically but academically, and uh, it's it's just it's a great fit for everything I was looking for and, and have an opportunity to coach. I'm excited about getting started. But this is also your second home. How difficult is that for you? Oh, very difficult because uh, I mean I played at Duke. I've been with Coach for 13 years. He's like a father to me, and. Um, you know, I, everything I have in this in this business is because of making the decision to play for him. You know, when I was in high school, and you know, being able to coach in the Olympics and win national championships and go to Final Fours, and you know, I'm forever grateful to everything that Duke has meant to me, and that will never that will never go away. Right, typically, question. these well, well, typically these decisions play? are made at the end of the season, but you get to mm -hmm. make the decision beforehand, so you have a few games. Hopefully, yeah. you know, to cherish this a bit more. Do you yeah. do you kind of enjoy that fact? At I least? think so. Like I, I told uh, I told our seniors Ryan and Seth and, and Mason. Um, you know, it's my senior year too. This is my last run, and that's the way I'm viewing it. And uh, I'm all in with this, and they know that. And uh, and I'm excited to see what we can do the rest of the tournament.